Let's all laugh at the sugars. Part 22. Now, you've all heard of the sugars, a mob of totally nasty dimwits, whose prejudicial behaviour marks them down as A-grade shits. You're jealous, they all scream, when they actually mean envy. Y'all don't know her, they then cry, and then there starts their frenzy. Unable to grasp the evidence, they have to bellow racist, but we all know their intellect is of the very basest. So if you relish the educated ultra sticking it to those moronic buggers, then settle back and join me now as we all laugh at the shuggers. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor, and welcome to another episode of Let's All Laugh at the Shuggers, where we have an opportunity to look at some of the comments that found their way onto my channel from the dim-witted ones as they attempt to cast their vitriol in the direction of me. H.G. Tudor, the Ultra, and my valuable viewers. What will we have today? Will Sanju be back with his own peculiar form of racism? Will that individual who casts around the same copy and paste allegations have made an appearance? Will there be some new individuals? Will they actually come up with something different from the usual words which only attract the horn of ridicule? There's only one way we're going to find out, and therefore, I must impress upon you the necessity of ensuring that you're not drinking anything, lest it squirt out of your nose and be sprayed all over the screen of the device that you are currently engaging with in order to listen to the chocolatey, velvety tones of the stentorian voice of your glorious narrator. Ensure you're not eating, lest you choke and I lose a subscriber, and... Also, get your teeth fixed. We don't want them flying out of your mouth and biting somebody else. Accordingly, settle in, pin your ears back, and get ready as we bring on our first slide. First out of the gate, we have Donna Barber, 9754. Why do people presume to know Harry and this one's wife? I think the most of you are jealous of this one's wife. There it is. Key word. You mean envious and should get a life and leave her alone. The horn of ridicule is already getting aired as our first sugar falls foul of the usual stock observations. It's very simple. Nobody is envious of this one's wife, as I've explained so many times before, who on earth would want to have stinky pits, weird hair, and the shoulders of a linebacker, and moreover, have to put up with ginger bollocks. Next up, Mecca Rene. Why are so many of you so <coughs> jealous and hateful? You mean envious. You're another one who doesn't understand the English language, and the fact is, Nobody is, but you keep trotting it out because you're a simpleton sugar who is unable to understand the fact that people recognise that she's an unpleasant person. And therefore, nobody wants to be her. Nobody wants to have her lifestyle. But you can't work out, can you, sugars, that people see her for what she is. You just automatically, through your dim-witted, amoeba-like brains, have to ascribe it to people being envious of her. Now we have Rhonda Wilson, 2494. What does this individual have to write? Shut the fuck up. This one's wife is a lioness. She pulled up from England, queen, princess, king. All that crap and bounced. Sorry. With her husband and a baby. That's what you supposed to do when you're not being respected. Shut your... Racist or just hating asses up. Well, thank you for that, Rhonda Wilson. All in capitals, you're a very angry individual. You perhaps might go and get some treatment to see if that might actually be lessened. The fact is, 
She's not a lioness. She's a cowardly form of narcissist. The only time that she shows her claws is when she's dealing with somebody who can't answer back or somebody who is in a position whereby in a hierarchy they're expected to take it from her. You, once again, completely fail to understand this and you throw around the racist declaration, inviting naturally the horn of ridicule with regard to your comment. Next, we have Nora War Sane. You guys can say whatever about her. Thank you for granting us that permission. Didn't realise we needed your approval. But she is married to Prince Harry. Yes, we're well aware of that. All the <laughs> jealous ladies in comments. How do you know they're all ladies? And why, again, would they be envious? Of course, it's so easy when you've only got a couple of brain cells that all you do is copy and paste what other people have said and open yourself up to a visit from the horn of ridicule. Next up, it's Candy, E6855. Why is there so much hate for this one's wife? Well, it largely isn't hatred. It's people's dissatisfaction, disapproval of the way that she has behaved. Surely it would be fairly obvious to anybody that has looked at what she's been doing to realise why she invites such disapproval from individuals. Or maybe, if you're stupid, you can't work it out. But Candy E6855 falls into the sugar trap once again by announcing, it seems like a lot of y'all are jealous of her. Two toots of the horn of ridicule there to ensure that Candy E recognises that she's coming out with the usual nonsensical platitudes. What's this? Wait a moment. Who do we see coming over the horizon? Ah, it's Sarah-OG6ZL. I smell bot. At Mrs. Mysterious5845, HG is evil and racist towards this one's wife and many complaints have been filed against it. Hopefully YouTube will shut it down again. Well, as I often say, do not look to hope for she is a false mistress. Once again, this is making you look rather ridiculous because you keep posting this and nothing fucking happens. But Sarah's back again with a picture of some child in the avatar as if to try and convince us of her empathic qualities, which fall way, way, way short, at HG Judah the Ultra. Beyond <laughs> racist and evil. Thumbs down. <laughs> I'm so frightened of Sarah, OG6ZL, and her nonsense. If elves were daydreamers, an interesting name. Are you going to let yourself down? Despite coming up with a fairly decent name, you are. How did I end up here in bigot hell? Well... I'll help you with that. Presumably, you saw a video and thought, that looks interesting. I'll click on it and watch it. And then you decided that you would look in the comments. So you got there because you did it yourself. Nobody made you. Nobody forced you. Nobody said, you better fucking watch this video or else nasty things will happen to you. No, you got on with it and you had to do it and you wanted to. What are you bigots talking about? It's very simple. Pin back your ears and listen. It's a channel about narcissism and psychopathy that provides thousands of videos about all the various facets of narcissism and psychopathy, the interactions, the manipulations, what it all means, and with very choice examples in relation to this one's wife. But your referencing the clip is like four seconds long and you're another one that doesn't understand that the short clip that shows an interaction of this one's wife demonstrating her narcissism is representative of what she is. It doesn't mean of itself that it proves that she's a narcissist. It merely shows the narcissist in action. You're getting it the wrong way around. A little bit when you're like how you try to distinguish your ass from your elbow. Who's next? It's Tamara Fleming, 8088. You do it for the money when I know you're that guy on morning television in England who yells and screams about this one's wife. You can try and change your voice all you want, but I know who you are. 
Well, Tamara Fleming, I don't yell and scream about this one's wife, nor am I that guy on morning television. So perhaps you think that I am Piers Morgan, but I'm not. So nice try, but it's a massive fail for you. And I don't change my voice. This is my voice. De goy de good. Leave this one's wife alone. <laughs> yes, standard bleat there from a sugar. From now on, I too will call William's wife, William's wife. Well, you can do what you like, but you used two, which is superfluous because nobody does it. As though her name is not worthy of uttering out loud in the style of this video. Thank you for the inspiration. Hashtag Republic UK. Ooh, aren't you edgy wanting a republic? De goy de good going around with the William's wife. Well, call a William's wife. Nobody gives a rat's ass. So you can take your passive aggressiveness and fuck off. Now we have one, Ophlockis. You're saying you're not <laughs> racist and that anti-racists are stupid. No, I haven't said that at all. But at least you're able to use your correctly, so I'll give you that credit. Gay boil your head, as the Scots say. Hmm, thanks for that. That thumbnail you put up is definitely <laughs> racist. And I know why you put it up. As clickbait for <laughs> racists. The horn of ridicule is going to get worn out at this rate. The thumbnail that this doofus is referring to is the Simeon line, where there was a picture of a monkey eating a banana. We all know that the word Simeon means monkey, hence that's why a monkey was put there. Linking phrases such as Simeon line and people of colour, bah, look, let's settle this debate. She's not a person of colour, she's only one when she chooses to be one, and as we've said so many times before, when you look at her, she'd be Hispanic at a stretch. And it's not linking Simeon line with a person of colour. It came from the fucking article that I was reading from, you moron. Don't you come here with all your high and mighty, oh, I'm an anti-racist, etc, etc. You clearly didn't watch the video. How do I know that? Because if you had watched the video, you would have realised that somebody else made reference to her Simeon line... Hence, I spoke about it, and then, because it uses the word Simeon, a monkey was used. But you, you're too lazy. You're like so many of these virtue-signalling, wokest assholes that just jump to conclusions, looking at a picture and go, Oh, that's racist, without actually having any due consideration for what the context or the content is. There are people who suffer genuine racial prejudice, and that shouldn't be the case. But you're not one of them. You're one of these Johnny or Janie come latelys that wanders in, having had a fairly straightforward life, and decide to get offended on the part of other people. You're the type of individual that will bang on about various causes because it's trendy to do so. But the moment that it would come to you actually standing shoulder to shoulder with those individuals in difficult circumstances, you would be nowhere to be found. You too, you'd be too busy running away having cacad yourself. I don't believe all your theories that this one's wife is a narcissist in the first place. Well, you don't have to, but you're still wrong. It's all clickbait. No, it's not. Clickbait is having a title that draws people in to click on it, and it's misleading. None of these videos are misleading. They're about this one's wife and her narcissism, so you don't even understand the meaning of the word. So... Be far better for you, one o flockis, that if you actually try and understand the videos. See if you can get your little simple head wrapped around it. Next, well, deep breath, because it looks like there's a major rant on the horizon that comes in from Yasmin Page. You and your false ascent. Why, have I climbed something that I wasn't meant to do? Try again, not good. It's her, not yours. It doesn't belong to the state. He bought a bigger diamond from Botswana. Why would William be concerned about two tiny diamonds? I don't know. Ask William. Ask Kate about the late Queen's necklace that's still missing from the collection that she raided with Camilla. The movement the Queen's eyes closed and it's still missing. What? The movement the Queen's eyes closed? Do you mean the moment? 
Try and write correctly, Yasmin Page. Kate was the last one seen wearing it. This one's wife is not under any obligation to wear her ring because you are nosy to want to know where it is. This one's wife and Harry have no need to pawn her ring. This one's wife didn't take her first husband's ring when she got divorced, which she was entitled to keep. Do you see Harry looking nervous? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice him being nervous in Germany. He was all over her like a bad rash. He was always touching her. I'm sure you haters didn't expect to see them loved up. They're not. She's a narcissist. Because your wishes for Harry to leave her haven't materialised, what satisfaction do you get from seeing someone else's marriage disintegrate, leaving two tiny kids to be raised by one parent? What, the parents that are never there? The parents that are in Dusseldorf without them, or New York City without them, or Portugal without them, or the Caribbean without them? Do you mean those parents that aren't raising them, but nannies are, and other members of staff, or that Doria's around there? Don't give me this. Oh, they're going to be left on their own. They barely see their parents as it is, you self-righteous tosspot. How many times, Harry, as to tell you, he hates living in the UK? Well, he lived there long enough for him to hate it, and apparently he's mooching around looking for somewhere to stay. In the Netflix docuseries, you saw him say, or rather, you heard him say, I think is what you mean, he should have been living in America four years before, before. So even before he married that one's wife. Get over your illusions about him. Whatever happens to his marriage, he will never live in the UK again. Well, most people will cheer about that. He will do his fleeting visits, but there is no permanent home here, even if he buys a home here. Saying this one's wife has pawned her ring because she's short of cash. How desperate are you to see her broke? You didn't listen properly. I said that that was a possibility, but unlikely to have happened. Try listening. Take the prejudice out of your ears, Yasmin Page, and actively listen. They both work not for peanuts. And Harry's book alone is the biggest selling non-fiction ever and still selling in clouding the spoken words. What the fuck? Because you don't have a clue why she has chosen not to wear her engagement ring when she's out and about, you play the fool in that silly ascent. Dreaming up scenarios for the reason. Go find something useful to do for someone or go outside and go touch grass and be thankful you're still alive. I'll tell you what I'd rather do. I'd rather come round and laugh at you because you really are thick. Harry and... This one's wife are living their lives while you make coins from nasty lying videos about this one's wife. They're not nasty. They're not lying. And they help many, many people understand narcissism. You talk about getting a life and doing things. You haven't a clue what I do. You haven't the slightest as to what I do with my life because you'd rather jump to conclusions. Because like every other sugar that's out there, you're a clown, a fool invariably racist yourselves. Did he ever ask you or your sick friends to be the gatekeeper of his life when you don't know him? I've met Harry on numerous occasions. I've spent more time with him than you have. How stupid are you all? Well, I think you should be directing that at the mirror. Instead of living your lives, you spend your time and energy commenting on someone's life you will never meet. And so do you. Look at what your rant is. Look how long your comment is. Commenting about someone who you have never met, will never meet, and gives fuck all consideration about you. You and your followers are deranged. Actually, I think somebody that rants to this extent and has no real grasp of the English language is more likely to be deranged. I think you should just have, as a consequence of your sheer idiocy, a good old toot on the horn of ridicule there for you, Yasmin Page. Well, there we are. More ridiculousness from the sugars. I'm sure you've had a good hearty laugh at their idiocy. Watch out for more, because there's always a sugar about. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.